So I think that everybody should discover its own kind of chengdu when they're here. It doesn't matter how long they're here. Hello, my name is Dieter. I come from Belgium. I'm in Chengdu for over 15 years, 14 years. Uh, I mostly run a social media company and I do lots of uh, things in my bar, lots of events. I have a craft beer bar open for more than 10 years. I would say we are kind of the, the one go destination for the international community in Chengdu to find information what to do and where to go. Chengdu Experts is based mostly on WeChat, so uh, the Gongzhou the official WeChat, the mini program, the website, but then we also run our uh, offline accounts. For Chengdu, the FISU World Games are, of course, a really big event. I think recently we've been posting more interesting things, informative articles to let people know what to do, where to go in Chengdu. So we've done a few articles about uh, touristic spots in the city. We just published today about where to go outside of the city, so one-day trips, for example, by the San Sinclair Museum or some uh, mountains around. And then we also keep on posting more international happenings, events, where hopefully people can uh, go and have a look. So it's a big chance because it's the biggest event that Chengdu is organizing, I think, in the last decade. And there's lots of eyes on the city. So a lot of people come here now, the athletes together with the delegations, the visitors, but also there's lots of media exposure and lots of people that will get to know more than just pandas or, or hotpots, because Chengdu is so much more. I also really hope that the athletes and the people visiting can, can find their own way to discover the city. I really would recommend them to to maybe go with some local people, let them take it around, uh, not just only go to the touristic spots, but just do a city walk. Go from, I don't know, Taipuli to Ramin Gungyuan, to People's Park, and, and just go your own way, go in the small alleys, find out the, the, the local things, the happenings. Uh, it doesn't always have to be following the, the, the main routes. So I think that everybody should discover its own kind of Chengdu when they're here. It doesn't matter how long they're here.